Greetings fellow traveler. This is a reminder to put it all on the line. No matter what it is. Put it all out there. When you do things, do it with full intention of being immersed in it. You could be immersed in five, ten different things, truthfully. Because there's a certain kind of efficiency that comes with that. Meaning, you could spend five, ten minutes a day just imagining, daydreaming, doing something. Eventually, depends on how powerful your imagination is, those things will come to pass. Now, we'll call that visualization, but I'm talking about everything. Performance-wise, no matter what you do, giving that little bit of attention to it. Five, ten minutes a day. If you have less than that, give something to it every day. Nurture it. Feed it. For them five, ten minutes, put it all on the line. I'm not telling you to use up all your hours in a day. For what? There's no one thing in life that you will do that you'll give your everything to that's going to fulfill you like that because no matter where you get, there's going to be more. There's going to be expansion. There's going to be something new, something different. So why get caught up in that way of thinking? If it works for you, that's absolutely fine. I'm not talking bad about it at all. I'm simply acknowledging the nature of this reality. If we look at it every other moment, there's something new, there's something different. So why get caught up in just one thing? unless it really does inspire you to continue to evolve. We don't get to the top and chill there. No, we keep moving. We don't get to the bottom and chill there. No, we keep moving. And even if we choose not to move, the world is going to keep moving anyways. So when you engage in something, when it comes to relationships, friend, romantic, work, don't matter. Hobbies, don't matter. Spirituality, religion, don't matter. Whatever you do, do it wholeheartedly. That way, if it comes to a point to where that experience is enough for you and you look for another experience, you don't dwell in the regret. You revel in the idea that you had that experience and you're grateful for it. You love it and you wouldn't change anything because it brought, to where, it brought you to where you are now in the present and where you can keep on evolving and put it all on the line for something else. You're a parent. Put it all on the line. A job ain't more important than a family. And that's that's me speaking. No job that you do is more important than your family. We can look at the old heads from generations before us, and that's one of the things they say a lot. I wish I'd have spent more time with my family. Tap in. Put it all on the line. Because no matter what, no matter what, you're going to have to get your attention to something anyways. I think that's a beautiful thing about this reality. We get to choose what we want to put it all on the line for. No matter what. Change it whenever we want to. No matter what. I'm here to remind you that no matter where you are in your life, no matter what you're doing in your life, make sure you give a piece of these hours that you have in a day to put it all on the line for something. I ain't saying you got to be the most successful nothing. For what? You go down in the Hall of Fame. If that's your thing, that's your thing. But guess what? It's going to be all types of Halls of Fame. And the Hall of Fame is not for the person who's getting inducted. It's for those who want to come here about the one who got inducted. Live your life so that you are in your own Hall of Fame. It's beautiful. Because you get to truly appreciate yourself. You get to invest in yourself. You get to be proud of who you created along your journey amongst yourself. Man, I used to be this. Oh, I did that before. Oh, that was a cool experience. I wasn't big on that experience before, but you know what? I could appreciate going through it because it got me to where I am now. See, that's your Hall of Fame. Your life is your masterpiece. Focus on that. Give your time to it. Not all your time, but a portion of your time. And don't trip on nothing else. Don't compare yourself to nobody else, because guess what? They build their own Hall of Fame. That's heaven on earth. It's a beautiful thing. It's simple. It's not easy. So choose. Pick what you want for you. Put it all on the line. Rock with it.
when that experience is had enough or you've had enough of that experience, go something else. If you're doing two or three things right now, if you're doing four or five, don't care. Give it that attention, nourish it, and then move on. We're not designed here to be stagnant. If that was the case, we'd have been, we wouldn't have been put in these vessels. We'd have been placed in rocks. So we could spend a lifetime with them in that vessel. Nah, we here in this meat suit. Enjoy your experience. You working out, go work out. You ain't got time to work out, cool. Imagine working out, don't care. But put it all on the line, whatever you do. And I bring up the imagination because it's so powerful. Think about it. We don't do anything without thinking about it in our mind first, no matter what it is. Now, many things we take for granted, and we do it out of we do it habitually so much that we don't even conceive the idea that yeah, I did think about that first. Some part of you thought about it, or some part of your program to automatically do it. That's the power of it. But sometimes we have to sit back. We have to relax this vessel, this body. And tap into our mind and allow our spirit to do what it does so enjoy that's all I got for you now until next time be blessed and please don't forget to smile